Dick McKnight wrote this song. The, so the title of the song is Dick McKnight's Farewell to Morn. Now you'll remember that Dick McKnight is the author of another song, Wamsley's Shady Groves, and those Shady Groves are mentioned in this song as well. But this one says that he, he had to leave because the girl he wanted to marry wouldn't have him. And in the previous song, he, he had to leave because the landlord put the rent up. So you pick your story, whichever you, whatever you see. Ye muses name with me combine until I do relate a remnant of my grief and woe for my sorrows they are great. It is all caused by a beauty bright that has my heart trepanned. Her rosy cheeks have banished me to range in a foreign land. Last night I went to see my girl to see what she would say, still hoping that she would some pity take before I sailed away. She said she loved the sailor lad, he's the boy I do adore, and I'll wait for him for seven long years, so trouble me no more. If your sailor lad was drowned or buried in the main, this roaring tide of Mama's side will not see him again. If the jolly tar does me forsake, I know, ma'am, I will enjoy. For ever since I saw his face, I've loved my sailor boy. Adieu to you, sweet Wamsley's groves, down by the bleaching mill. Their linen webs are daily spread, and the purling streams run still, where pinks and daisies lately bloom, and the spotted trout still plays. With my bait and hook, and my delight I took to spend my youthful days. Our ship she lies in Warren Point, she's ready for to sail. The Lord and her safely o'er with a soft and pleasant gale. If I had ten thousand pounds a year, or ten times that much more, I would spend it all on the girl I left behind, all on sweet morn shore.